they can really move me off this property is by by finding somebody, another person with a license, and there's only three in the county, and we're friends. Yeah. Well, look, I mean, there's there's a lot of trickery with. We will talk about mineral rights again when we talk more about land. I did try and get to speak with you this week. I know you've been busy, but hopefully we'll talk in the next few days. Okay. Yeah, because I'm I'm open this weekend. I, I actually, uh, when you called, I was I, they had just called us back like five minutes before. And I was in the middle of uh, listening to uh, a MUFON uh, speaker. Yeah. So, uh, sorry. Great great question. And look, is there anything else or we, we, we'll talk offline? Okay, I, yeah. Um, the gentleman, which uh, 999, uh, what was he? Yeah. What was his reference? Cause I, I Alpha, actually have, Alpha 999, yeah. What was his, what was his one question? I actually have a report. Go ahead. Yeah, you're asking me to. I'm, I'm okay, uh, tapping yeah, into I'm what's up, and yeah, I, we're talking yeah, about. Um, yeah, sorry, yeah. Sorry about when you're uh, talking when you're talking. Okay, Ona, you be good, and yeah, give me a call, and we'll talk. I got I got some information to give you. So, uh, right. they they will be two thing two places will be doing. On Solstice, and the other one is in February. The first okay. after the first week of the February, the the uh, Iroquois and Haudenosaunee uh, one will be held up, I believe, this year in Canada. And the first time it's been spoken in language in 30 years. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, j- just for the, just for people who are listening to the call, Ray, do you want to just give a quick background of what we're talking about about five worlds and and the. Um, the original tribes there? Original Correct. Nations. Well, um, the, five, the five world concepts is since, since mankind has been here, there's been five, this will be the fifth creation coming up now. It's our decision, our mental and our strengths, which will help us gather into this an easier way to, instead of getting there and being blind. And what we're doing is we're going through all, all, the, all the creation song, uh, songs, because it's done in a song. And it, it's it's in the original language, and it, it tells the whole story of the people from the time they got here until now. And how's, hopefully, it will go how's on it to going, the next. How's it going oh, with um, the nations? Little difficulty, uh, because of uh, they they want to do it all to themselves. They, they don't mind if people show up, and, and they'll actually them an interpreter okay but they they won't allow anybody outside because they're afraid with everything that's going on with people selling stuff yeah. you know somebody especially the, the one is a 13 day your coin is a 13 day and i mean you could probably rake somebody for like you know twenty thousand a hundred thousand dollars for you know that for them to come to see that so that's why they they, they want to keep everything in-house and yeah. keep it that way. It keeps down all the the crazies and all that crazy stuff. But yes, it's going on. Right. Uh, there will be one in an area called Wild Loosing, and then one out in uh, Ohio, and it's either going to be in Cambridge or uh, just south of Cleveland. They haven't decided right. where they're going to do it at. Okay. And then uh, the other one will be. Uh, it's looking like Six Nations in February. Fantastic. Um, the Cherokees, I, I don't. There's no. They have. It's very difficult getting to the traditionals and trying to get through to them, because uh, long story. But there's a thing called a band council. Yeah. And they're they're stepping all over the traditionals down there. So, and that's Eastern, Western. Uh. I still have to try to make better relations there, and, uh, and that will be of, the, and then that will be the people of the, the original people of the East Coast. I, I know that there's actually, actually, they have a, the fall one is for the Uchi is going to be going on the 21st of this month, yeah. And they'll be doing doing the callings for they they do fall, they don't do winter. That's that's their time of rest. They put the mother to sleep that day. So, and then she takes her winter rest. 
And yeah, you know, that's that's so they they decided they would do those at that point. Okay, and and then getting uh, more and more, I'm trying to uh, reach out to the the Sushwap and uh, Salish people. And the problem with them is that even though it's been a short term contact, a lot was lost. Yeah. Because apparently what they did was they went in and uh killed off all the uh they just went in and killed off everybody with of any knowledge so they can get control. Yeah, well, that's the t- typical. You're doing a wonderful job and thank you for sharing that to everyone so they get a better yeah. understanding of what's happening in the awakening of the nations and the singing of these songs, not just for them, but for all of us, um, singing to to our mother, our mother Earth. Thank you so much for what you're doing. It's not only it's only not only the native people; but all people, as I said before, are native. They come yes. from a native. Um, yep. um, even if they have to say it in the language now that they speak now, as long as they ha- as long as they can gather the knowledge, the true knowledge of the past, not what they wrote in books. Because yes. you know and I know that they change books pretty rapidly. Um, they should they should also do it too because we need all people. Because this will this well, will hold back here. Well, the fear. Even the even to share, to... sorry to interrupt you, but just as a as a just a, to wrap up now because we'll talk later on. But just even to share with them the comments tonight, we speak of in terms of uh, writing and and vocal may help but you're doing a wonderful job yeah they they won't write it down <laughs> they just won't write it down. i don't have a problem with that <laughs> okay honor yeah honor frank you be good okay all right i'll get to some of these i know there's got a couple more uh people on the call and i'll get to those in a moment if you do want to speak, please um, press star eight, and I would love to hear from you. I just want to answer a couple more questions here in the chat that have been put in. Um, the question is from JC. The question is, uh, wouldn't it be of import to give notification to the United Nations of Eucadia, although I understand the UN is part of the elite and the Roman system? Look, there is a time to, to do that, but it is not that we need the United Nations recognition. We do not need their recognition or their permission. Um, We will be seeking uh, recognition, but I am hoping that that is something that you, through communities and the aggregation of those communities up to the election of your leaders, that will do that. Uh, It won't be me and won't be anyone presuming to do that on your behalf. That will be a free choice of the communities to do without me um, directing anyone for that. Uh, next question um, we have here. Uh, how will Eucadia deal with the education of the youth and curriculum? There's a good question. There is the Eucadia languages that are still being finalised. There is an iconogra- iconographic or graphic uh, language there is a phonetic language, a vocal language, and a language that uh, represents the phonemes or the units of sound uh, as a written language, an alphabetic language. The languages should have been in place by now, but they haven't been. The good news is that as a language is associating sound and meaning, symbol and meaning, our research on this continues. What I say to you is the structures that we have developed in Eucadia are so powerful that when we are able to present this into a language of symbols and a language of sound, logic sound, and the alphabetic means of reproducing it, I believe that we will be able to transform knowledge and education forever in a way that has never been seen before. But I think this is something that I would like to share with you and show once I can actually show these things for you. You can see the symbol language at the moment on Eucadia, but the phonetic and the alphabetic system is not 
turned on and up yet. But it will be, and it is well, well developed, and I very much look forward to showing to you. Hey, I look forward to being able to speak it uh, and sharing it and speaking it. It's a very powerful system based on the return to a unified knowledge of sound and meaning that actually appears embedded in all unified languages. So uh, I can't, I don't want to say any more until I actually show it to you, but it's going to be a very exciting day when the phonetic and alphabetic Eucadian language is released. Um, let me get to the next callers because they've been waiting for a while and then uh, we'll come back to the questions. I'll just see if I can get on to V for Vendetta. Hello, V, can you hear us? Yes, uh, Frank. Uh, Sigoli. Sigoli makes uh, ingredients from the Great Turtle Island. Um, I have the first question I have. Um, I sent you a package perhaps about a month ago, and I don't know of confirmation of whether you got that package yet. Uh, absolutely magnificent. And I just want to share to everyone and, and, and say to you, thank you so much. This was a package of, of information about uh, Great Turtle Island, about uh, the history of um, the nations, the work towards um, law, and of course you gave me some wonderful samples of uh, organic maple syrup, which my partner uh, Katie is uh, most impressed with. Thank you so much for that. Uh, you're welcome. Uh, I just wanted to com confirm that you got the package because, like I said, I have no uh, tracking way of knowing that. Um, I was also wondering if you had a chance to look over the documents of the Puget Sound that I sent to you, the ones of Mike Grady, uh, yes or no on that, and we don't need to go into details about that. Um, I have gone through all the material I've read it, but I, I, I have to say that I haven't come to a conclusion. There were a number of things in there in terms of administrative procedure that I, I, I have some doubt on, um, only because of, and you heard me speaking hopefully earlier tonight about um, public Roman administrative procedure and its very particular nature. Um, but what I would say is the knowledge that you've provided there is of great value and I appreciate it because it's helped me and I hope you'll see this reflected. It will be reflected in work we're doing uh, and in fact it ties in lovely what we're talking with Ray about about um, the unity and healing firstly between the first peoples and then those that have come uh, in, particularly when we talk about uh, restoring land rights cust custody um, and proper administration it's great stuff but I've just got doubts about the some of the uh, legal documents you put in there only because I feel that they have some flaws in them, but I haven't really done a full treatment on it yet, but I, that was my gut feeling. Yeah? Right. Well, I, I just want to, because I asked you one time before if you're familiar with Mike Grady and what he has done with the treaties, um, Kucha Sound and, and um several of the tr other treaties and, and what he's created the uh, uh, while he's made the public notice of Puget Sound that. Um, I want to go back to what Dean and Strom had said had, was, um, um, was um, touching on earlier, uh, uh, kind of like uh, networking. Um, I had sent an email, uh, posted an email on the website on Eucadia about perhaps getting a pamphlet made up. I have a cultural fair. I'm in Syracuse. And also um, Melchizedek on the on the website here too, or on the uh, on the conference call. Uh, we have a um, we have a cop, um, a cultural fair here in Syracuse, and I kind of like to get a pamphlet and set up a tent for this cultural fair that I can uh, an informative type of pamphlet of Eucadia. I know there's so much stuff, but what could be printed off the website or something made up that I can put up there and hand out to a lot of these uh, intellectual students and stuff. Well, look, I think, I think um, it'd be a fantastic idea. I, I had some, as, as you probably, you know, you probably be aware, but there's been some, I get some great uh, emails from people with different skills in, in skills of desktoping and, and, and the very sort of skills you need in preparing material. The, the problem is, is um, it's got to be at a, at a local level and it's got to be in a way that 
that you can connect up with people who have the pamphlet design skills